Hi everyone, welcome to yorkzuki.com. I have the pleasure to be here with Andrew Maron and a friend of mine and somebody whose work and I have admired for many, many years. And in one of the other interviews that you'll see the link below, we were talking about how COVID has changed the small and medium sized uh, um, landscape dramatically in favor of entrepreneurship. But one of the things that we were talking about, and I thought I, I'd, uh, I'd capture a, a little vlog, especially around this, is the example of you mentioned relating to unemployment retrenchments. Tell us a little bit what's happening. Obviously, everybody knows that people are being let go left, right, and center. Tell me a little bit what you mentioned before. So there's, there's hundreds of thousands of people getting retrenched, from, especially from large corporates. Um, and we think who, who knows better the issues that corporates face in their businesses, the problems that they're having, the inefficiencies that they have, uh, more than the people who work there. Yes. And so we're saying take that, take that understanding of what you understand or that problem that, uh, that you know that the corporate has and go and try to solve that problem. So yes, you've been uh, retrenched as an employee, but if you go back to them and say, guys, I understand, you know, when I worked here, we, this was a problem and we couldn't get... Uh, we, to get from A to B, we should go quite a long way around. I've got a model that can, I can get you to A to B quicker that can save you a hell of a yeah. lot more. Uh, or, you know, um, or can save you some money, create some efficiency, and so forth, because you're helping them solve the problem. And what we're saying is, you know, we all think corporates are super efficiently run, and we know that's not quite the case. Yeah. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of issues. So if you can look for the problems uh, or identify those problems and find a solution to it, know, uh, people like us, and we've, we've started a campaign called Get, Get SA Working. Yeah. Um, we, we're putting 100 million rand behind that to help, s to help people to say, well, Andrew, I've got this idea, I went back to my employer, uh, they love the idea, but I'm gonna find this million rand to, to start this process. Deliver. Come to us, and that's, so these are the kind of things that we're looking for. Love it. So uh, we can help them, we're actually helping a new business startup, help create some employment, uh, and at the end, it's not that important. I mean, we all win if everybody creates more jobs, but we uh, even giving away a million rand prize at the end to say, create the most amount of jobs, I'll we'll give it. you a million rand. And, 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 and succinctly put it, what I'm hearing is, guys, girls, if you've been let go, we sympathize with you. It's a horrible experience and, and traumatic across all levels. But there is a silver lining in this. Out of your experience and expertise, you can create an area of specialization you can actually start creating the perception of a problem that you can solve and sell that problem back to the company, which is a far more powerful value proposition than begging for another job. So if you can now go back and say, I know, you, dear company, you had to let me go because of the situation we're in, but I want to make an offer to you. I can actually save you money at a fraction of the cost of the way you were doing it before. Plus, I've got partners in Andrew and Profit Share that will come on board in terms of guarantee bringing the expertise, the track record, and the money to deliver the solution to the corporate at a fraction of the price you were solving it before. So there is a silver lining in that. And maybe this is a kick in the backside, but we all need it to cut yeah. this dependency on a salary. Absolutely. Andrew, Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you for watching.